Hello, and welcome to the Brian Roberts Guitar Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you the fourth shape, or what a one of the four is. This variant is a fourth, okay? The standard power chord that we learn as guitar players is a one and a five. Uh, those two tone intervals uh, in tandem to each other played together at the same time uh, we have a power chord, right? This uh, variant is a fourth, okay? It's a version that is less common but still pops itself up every now and then. So how do we find out how to play it? So kind of following the trend, if we take a one and a four, find out how to play that, and what I mean by those numbers is the tonal intervals. So if you take a scale and give them numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that count is what I'm referencing. So in order to play a one and a four, we have to first identify where one is, which exists there, um, or wherever you begin, in reference to the key that you're playing. Don't worry about it too much. Whatever scale that you understand, wherever you understand it, begin there. And then as you play through the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, as you play through that, count numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want you to stop on four. One, two, three, four. So right there, we have a four, and then we have a one. So in order to play a fourth, we're playing one and four together, boom. You can play with your middle finger, you can play with your index and middle finger, you can play with just your index finger, it's up to you. For this video, I'm just gonna play it with my index and middle finger. So this has its own distinct sound, okay? It's a one and a four. Wherever your index is, that's gonna be the name of that one four chord. So in this case, we have a G4. Okay, if I wanted you to play a D4, Take your index finger and apply that same shape. It's a completely vertical thing. An E4, a C4, a G4. So it kind of has a strange dissonance to it, but this is a four. As far as it's distancing. Um, you might kind of see this shape also existing in the fully fleshed out power chord. Where my ring and pinky are, that's a fourth. So, essentially what a fully fleshed out power chord is, is a one and a five, and the five's four happens to be an octave. This is where the circle of fifths and the perfect fifth and perfect fourth thing kind of start falling into place, but these are more advanced concepts. Don't worry about it too much. For today's video, what you're trying to understand is this little micro shape as a fourth, and that sound quality as a fourth. So now you know the fourth. Thanks again for watching. You made it all the way through. Give yourself a pat on the back and stay tuned next week for another video.